You guys, let's watch a shark movie together. Uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh, After the Bite. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can watch it like that. Let me see. Make a ladder. I tell you why I believe you. The only one I got a really good look at underwater was that kind of big. And I'm looking at it, and you know, it just had that slow, massive look to it. Like, I mean, did fucking great white chicken get that big? It, it had to be like this big around. I'm not shit yet. It was like this fucking big around. The only two I've seen was when it was really good visibility, which leads me to wonder how many I didn't mm. see when it was shitty, you know, murky. Oh. Tired, but tired, but not tired. There was a time some years ago that I was writing about scientists who were working with the sharks at Cape Cod. They arrived with all the fanfare of saying, oh, they'll be tagging on these sharks, catching on these sharks. Well, they caught two the entire expedition. And I went out there, you know, on my first day, went thinking I'd see a shark and that'd be it. And I go home and write my piece. Well, I had to keep going back for 11 days. The sharks weren't abundant. They would be quite some distance from shore. Every once in a while they'd be found near shore, maybe near Chatham, but they were, were not near the beaches. Okay, we're in Kura, like Boston Beach. Oh, that's like where, been... where my husband's family is from, uh, uh, Massachusetts. They're from Massachusetts. Or... Chris Myers was in the water with his son when a great white sucked his teeth into his leg. He managed to get free and was taken to the hospital with eight deep gouges and some torn tendons. It seems like more and more sharks are arriving each year, and suddenly you're really getting them near the beaches. In August of 2018, we were on the beach one afternoon, about to go in the water, yes. when we heard what sounded like shouting, maybe 100 yards down the beach. Call it Long Nook Beach for a subject possibly bitten by a shark in a sky. We got a call for a possible shark bite at Long Nook Beach. I said, oh, there's no way this is a shark bite because it's very rare around here. But once I saw it, I knew that it was... Saw it? Just he saw it. Like, <laughs> That's what he's talking about, Jesus. Let's say saw it. Oh my god. Punched a shark in the gills? But not until the poor boy was killed in Wellfleet did it really seem like, okay, now they're here. Dang, September 15th, 2018. There's a it lot. Was such a joyous summer day. Oh my god, look at all the sharks. Day, everybody's having fun, whether you're surfing, boogie boarding, swimming, beach calling. Oh, I think. the day you could ask for the game. Oh. And like families were on the beach, and there were surf breaks all over, and then Arthur was down here with his, you know, good friend, uh, Isaac. 26-year-old Arthur Medici on his boogie board with his friend Isaac Rocha. About 9.30, I was by myself, walked way down the beach, same as always, and there was two people in the water already with their boogie boards. I got an incredible show. I'm so tired. And I was there with
I went in. A wave came up over Arthur's face, and I got underneath and pulled him up on top of me because we couldn't move him any further. I did look down at one point and saw that his legs were kind of laced open, but no blood. There was no blood around us. All the blood was long gone. I uh, told both boys how much I loved them. I kissed them both and hollered for God and cried and waited for help to come. I had no clue what the hell had just happened. I'm at uh, Newcomb Hollow Beach in Wells Beach, Massachusetts. I just seen a surfer get bit by a shark. About 300 yards okay. down the beach, I saw a whole thing okay, happen. Sure. But it was a hell of a hit, man. I saw the whole thing happen. It looks like they're carrying him off the beach right now. At this time, as a part of an unknown shark bite. The lifeguards were trying to work on him. We have an unconscious male, severe leg injuries. There was no helping this poor boy. Go for it. Is she done? Hey, John. Hey, John. That morning, I got the call. We were inbound from a closed area way to the east, 70 miles to the east of P Town. And as soon as I got served, my daughter called. She's like, I think my friend got killed by a shot. After he was taken away, it was such a stunned silence. We just didn't know, kind of looking at each other like, oh, wow. Did we just get punched in the face? That's what it kind of felt like, you know? Yes. This is a pretty good all. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. You gonna watch the shark movie with money? You gonna watch the shark movie? That is just uh, it's such a haunting story. I feel so for his family and violence can intersect any moment practically it seems like but one wouldn't have thought of the sunny afternoon off the coast of new england that a shadow was waiting <clears throat> it's so scary look at that shark thing it's the first fatal shark attack oh Cape my has god seen in more than 80 years That's sad. hollow beach closed until further notice That's after so a summer full of shark sightings on cape cod and one previous non-fatal attack it's getting harder and harder to downplay the danger. I ain't going swimming there, no Cape Cod. That was a turning. I can't point. believe that my okay. husband and his cousin okay. swam through that water. And they could have been dead. Like, they must have had good guardian angels. They swam through the whole Massachusetts um, ocean. Like, they were deep in the ocean. They could have got killed by sharks. I couldn't believe they swam through the whole ocean. It's scary. Don't you scare me. Don't you scare me. Oops, sorry. That <laughs> princess. Lay down, Mama. Wait. Lay down. You're getting in the way of the film. What are you doing? Get him up. It's my dog, you guys. He's getting all crazy. You're messing up the film. You're messing up the movie, little stinker. Yes. Yes. Yes, I want quality time with my mommy. Quality time. All right, we get to spend time with him. I think you were working. It's been some time together, don't we? Yeah, I still got my board. Yes. Really yes. Like, don't knock my film down. Go over there. Really don't knock my movie down. Stop. Stop. Lay down. And I was like, I'm going to go. And she like, saw me for like 30 uh, minutes. And so I was okay. late going to the beach. Because I told her, absolutely under no circumstances will you let the girls go out and surf without me being there. Yeah. That's where your mother Good evening, everyone. My name is John Hudson. This is a Wellfleet resident. 
I'm the father of three children, two of which uh, have been lifeguards in the past. I want to see the lifeguard. My daughter was present during Arthur and uh, terrible attack. It was horrific. She tried to help as best she could. Mm -hmm. I've been surfing and swimming in the water for 35 years. Um, I won't allow my kids to go in anymore. We have a problem here, ladies and gentlemen, and the problem is man-made. So, excuse me, so thank you. My appreciation. I mean, there's lots of people here who feel that I would like to help with safety. It is an important issue. Yes. Mm. Not it's freezing now. Like, first it was hot last night, but then now it's freezing cold in here. Hand me that, Ma Megan. Thanks. All the research we're doing here is really to learn more about these animals, so that we can prevent the risk of somebody having a bad interaction with a white shark. You got any more, Wayne? This one's staying deep. Help! Uh, we're just on the other side of that guy. It's on his port bow. It's a small one. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds like action. The number one question I think we get asked is how many of them are out there and we haven't had an answer. There's never been an actual number. So part of our mission is to catalog the white sharks of Cape Cod. We're going to put out some acoustic tags, which will be those long-term tags that will be picked up by our, our receiver array. All right, slow down. Slow down. I'm in the glare here. Right there, pretty close now. Just, just stop there, John. I'm just warm up to you. Yeah, he's down. Are we ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay. As long as he doesn't spook, we're. I like the way it's acting. A little zigzag action. He's down a little bit. I need him to slow down because I don't want to knock the tag off the. <laughs> Me and, me and my first husband, Richard, used to watch um, Shark. Who was it? We used to watch Shark Week on um, Discovery. That was his favorite channel, was Discovery. He used to always watch Discovery Channel. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Oh shoot, look at that. Need that to pop off, you know? It is crazy. Look at that big old shark. Oh my god, it's scary. It looks like a yeah, black no. whale. Yeah, yeah. Stab him? Right, that shark's gonna come back and attack him if he stabbed him. Did he hit him? Where's it oh, going? Great. Nice work. Victory, Captain. What'd they do to him? That's why we use the darts. The dart's gonna hold that in. That'll ping for ten years. Whoa. They put a, a transmitter on the shark. It's crazy. Every time a tag shark swims by one of our real-time receivers, people will immediately see that information on their phone. It's now integrated with our app, Sharktivity. Oh wow. There's also information on which shark it was. There's a photo of the shark. Those are great white it's sharks. Really changed Those the way are scary. Think about sharks off of our coastline and how frequently they occur in near shore waters. Oh my gosh. 
Scary. I would never want to swim in that water. Let's see if we're getting them. Oh, so Joni came by at 2.30 last night and left at 3. Who was that, Joni? Joni. Joni? Yeah. I, I don't know how big Joni is, but... All right, hopefully this will work today. We fly that all the time just so people know that there are sharks in the water. It's basically like you should go in at your own discretion. I However, if we detect one on our buoy or see one, then we get everyone out of the water and change it to a black side. Oh, yep. okay. Just wonder. Yep. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. And then they gotta go lifeguarding too into that water. Oh hell no. I just saw a seal on the sandbar. When we see a seal, it makes us nervous. I think it's a shark. Sharks are so stealth. They just sneak up on their prey. The seals are really agile, so they can swim away really fast. But obviously, humans are not as agile. See that fish a mile away, huh? Suckers in shallow water, man. Sure is, huh? Yeah, here and it's seven feet and it's going in. Got a pile of seals right there. This sucker's hunting. Greg Scomel it was the one person on the East Coast who really knows what the circumstances are, had always told me that sharks, so far as he could tell, would not enter into the surf zone because they had an instinctive fear of being breached. Unhappily for me, he amended that last year to say, well, not sure anymore. We now have seen occasions where they go right into the surf after a seal. If they're chasing something, they'll certainly go into the surf, he said. That? Oh, I yeah, it's a seal be... coming. Is it? Mm-hmm. That one has a scar on its back. It was, I just saw a divot, you know? That, Dick, can you photograph one? I will, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I can't see a wound. I see... I mean, I don't... It's not, like, bloody or anything. It's, not a, it's like a heel yeah. divot. Yeah, okay. No, no, that's not, that's not too old, Lisa. Do you see it? I see it. There's a white, it looks white below the surface. I don't live very far from here. And um, two years ago, I rode out here in August. And it was uh, later in the afternoon. And I got off my bike and I just looked out and there was a white shark. And I was like, oh, wow. I spent about an hour watching it. And then seals started passing through really close to shore, just traveling north or south. And rafts of birds came in, boats were going by. And I was just like, we could do like a, a little behavioral study here and look at seal behavior and white shark behavior. So when we stand out here, what we're looking at is basically how seals and white sharks transit or spend time right off the bluff here. Oh, wait, we got a seal. Sorry, I have to get a, okay, Marjorie, you ready? 94 bearing. I'm going to get you distance. 142 heading north. Circling. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, uh, interaction. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was an interaction between the first.